Aloha and mele kalikimaka. Merry Christmas. Well, it's not quite Christmas. It's a little bit early, but it is Black Friday season. So I thought I would take a few minutes and put together my maker's Christmas list and share it with you guys. So you ready? Let's take a look. first couple of things on my list that I'm wanting to play with, the first is the new Anycubic, well it's not new, it's been out for a while, but the Anycubic Delta printer that Gearbest has available as of today for $175. It's definitely had really high reviews and really high marks. I love my CME CNC H2 and I'd really like to play with something else in the same size and a uh, little bit lower price range just to see where that gets me. Plus if you're in the US it is available for shipping uh, directly from the US instead of waiting for China. One of the other items from, Z from uh, Gearbest on my Christmas list this year is the Creality CR8 uh, also known as the Ender 2. It is a small form factor printer with a handle on the top. It's very portable and while it's a little bit on the expensive side for its size, it's got great reviews and it's something that I would love to try and to be able to have to take with me when I go to job sites or when I'm traveling. It's something that I can, you know, stick in a, a carry-on bag or a carry-on bag size or whatever and pack it with my luggage to take along with me. I'll show you this. Um, this is not printing related but it's also available from Gearbest. It is a handheld gimbal. And this is something that I definitely have on my list just because it would be handy to be able to use my phone and stabilize it when I'm walking around maker's fairs or trade shows and just to try to get a cleaner picture. And at $67.99, it's a hard price to beat uh, for, for a two-axis gimbal. So the last thing here at Gearbest that I did want to point out is that they are running their Black Friday sales and it's kind of a continuation of the 1111 sales that they had a few weeks back. It's actually active now. It's going to be running through December 4th. So it's going to be running for the next several days. And I'll include the link to this page. It gets updated daily as new specials come on. but. Basically, they have all these flash deals or roving deals. They have, of course, lucky bags if you're in for something fun. And you can see all of the deals, uh, like the Creality's up to 23% off, uh, cameras, just about anything. And while not 100% maker related, that is somewhere to look for, definitely for stocking stuffers or gifts. And if you order now, it should be here by Christmas. So let's jump over to Amazon. One of the things definitely me, definitely on my Christmas list is the Anycubic Ultra Base that Chuck from uh, Chep pointed out a few weeks ago and has been loving. It is a glass surface that has this black coating permanently on the glass to uh, create it nonstick. Now this comes in two flavors over at Amazon and it's $29.99 including a heat bed and everything that you need to fit it on most common size i3 printers. Note it does not fit the duplicator i3, uh, but it is most printers with a 20 by 20 base. They also have this version, which is just the glass only, that will work on an i3, uh, a duplicator i3, or any other printer. It's purely the glass that you stick on down on top of the aluminum. It doesn't replace the heat bed, but it does have the coating on the top there. And that's just a few dollars less at 23 bucks. Something else on my list are the Noctua 40 millimeter fans. A lot of my printers are using the 40 millimeter size fans, especially things like the Duplicator i3 or some of the, the printers coming out of China. It's very common size. The Noctuas are 
while they're this odd cream and brown color, they are super quiet. And it's a very easy swap to put those on your printer. They move just as much air, if not more, than the, the stock fans, but they just quiet things down dramatically. Of course, the next thing on my list is Magigoo. Now, I believe there may be other places to pick it up besides Amazon, uh, but that's the only place that I'm aware of in the US. And when 3D Maker Noob, Joe, turned me on to this, it has been great. I have not used hairspray or glue stick since. You just put down a couple of coats on top of your glass or your build surface, and it kind of acts as a layer. And I use a lot of the PO Poly build sheets or build tack sheets, and when I'm printing with things that are harder to stick, um, it adds a little bit extra, such as ABS, or when I'm printing nylon that does stick really good to the PO Poly build sheets, it acts as a release layer so that those parts come off just a little bit easier. The next thing on my list that I have been eyeing is the Samson Stage XPD-1 USB wireless mic system. Now, I do have a professional lab system that I use, but this Samson system uses 2.4 gigahertz, so it's a short range. And you'll notice here in the picture that the receiver for it is actually USB. So it's not necessarily a prograde piece, but it plugs directly into your computer so that you don't have to have a USB pre or any, port, any sort of middleman. Ah, but wait, there's more. See these little dongles here? These dongles go to micro USB and allow you to plug in that same receiver into an Android phone. And, and they also, if you have the iPhone um, or the iPad uh, lightning to USB camera adapter, it allows you to actually plug that receiver directly into your iPad or your iPhone so that you can use your lav mic if you are recording directly using your phone or your tablet's camera. The next thing at Amazon is the Bonhus uh, ball driver screwdrivers. Now, these do not zoom, but these are nice ball tip. They're metric sizes, and for 1260, these are a steal. Definitely handy if you're building a lot of printers or, or doing a lot of maintenance on printers, since most of your, your hex connections um, are, are metric. These are surely a lot easier than the little T size, or I'm sorry, the L shaped ones that come with the printers. Jump over to Matter Hackers, and while Matter Hackers just had their large Blue Friday sale, they're also having a small Black Friday sale. And they've got several discounts on a lot of printers. The one that has my interest and made my Christmas list is the Inventables X Carve. I would love to have a small CNC like this that I could use for projects in the garage to make signs, make plaques for the kids, and just do all other kinds of handy stuff. Um, it, it's a smaller one, but it's powerful. It uses a standard DeWalt router. So it's made mostly for wood and acrylic and MDF and stuff like that. Um, but you can do some minor milling on Aluma, and of course you could also do circuit boards with it if you wanted to make your own. I did want to also point out that Filament One is having a Black Friday sale that's actually active now, and they're offering up to 30% off all 3D printing filaments. Now the couple of filaments from Filament One that made my Christmas list, uh, and of course you've all seen me printing with it because I just love the way it goes down, is the PLA Extra Fill Vertigo Gray. Now, they also have the Vertigo Galaxy, which has the gold instead of the silver flakes. I like that, but I just don't like it as much as the Vertigo Gray. The Vertigo Gray just has, it, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. It's like a granite finish. Of course, the Noble Blue is also one of my favorites, and it comes out looking really beautiful. It's just a little bit shiny. And you've seen me printing with that one as well. So that is on my Christmas list as well for a refill. The last thing on my Christmas list is I want to try the nylon CF15 carbon fiber from Filament One as well, or excuse me, from Filamentum. 
Uh, the filaments are all made by filamentum, sold via filament one here in the US. The nylon is a little bit on the pricier side. With, with the Black Friday sale, it knocks it down just a little bit. And it makes some extremely, extremely incredibly strong parts. Um, if you need to print replacement parts for your printers or anything that needs to hold up, it's definitely something that I want to experiment and play with. I've tried the Matter Hackers nylon, I've tried Tallman, I've enjoyed both of those, but just adding the carbon fiber on top is just going to be that sweet spot. Okay, that wraps it up for my Black Friday shopping list. Those are the things that I'm hoping to find under my tree on Christmas morning. I will be sure to include links down below in the description so that you can take a look at these items. And I will be keeping an eye on the sales as things pop up. Um, and I will be sure to either send out tweets or check the Facebook page for the channel. I will post deals when I find them there. Um, I'm constantly checking GearBest when they send coupon codes for printers and stuff. So I'll be sure to get those to you guys if there's any chance that you guys can save on the things that you're already looking for to get under the tree. So that about wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed this little shopping trip. If there's other items that you guys are seeing that are going to be great deals for this Black Friday, please be sure to send me a tweet or drop a comment down below. I'm definitely always looking for a great deal for myself as well. So I will be sure to check those out. And that's all for today. We'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.